Okay, before this review starts, I should make notice that there is a black guy in this band. That's right. Take a look. I don't give a fuck about going to jail, nigga. And he can shred. Do you know what that means? The song currently playing is not The Conformist. Wait for it. Last year I was introduced to a band called Taken by Talons. These fine gentlemen brought one hell of a brutal sound to the stage that I didn't think was possible. Taken by Talons is a cussing, brute crushing, mosh pit rushing metal band from the good old 216. And yes, I plan to do that every time a band is from Cleveland. The live shows of Taken by Talons are never left without bruises and cuts. I myself have walked away from a Taken by Talons show with a bloody final result across my face. This is after I cleaned it up. These guys have managed to make a name for themselves without even putting out a full album. These guys are definitely climbing the ranks in Cleveland's metal scene and watch out because if I know Taken by Talons, they will fight their way to the top with styrofoam swords and maces. And now, I present The Conformist. The Conformist is a four minute long venture into everything that Taken by Talons is about. This song makes me yell, I love that fucking song! I wanna fuck something! What is so special about one song? You have a shredding guitar part completely headbang worthy, and the vocals and rhythm that make you want to do a full upper body headbang while gripping the stage. By the time the solo comes in at roughly the halfway point, you will have easily thrusted this one to the higher ranks of your favorites. The sound, as I stated before, was recorded and mastered at Brainchild Studios with Noah Solipsis, so kudos to him once again. <laughs> Guess what, motherfucker? This track is absolutely free on any copy of the Ghost Laboratories Arcade Volume 3 mix. So get your ass over to ghostlabs.net and download this fucking amazing track. As for the rating, I'm going to ask my good friend Adam Sessler of G4 to help me out on this one. Indisputably a 5 out of 5. That's right. The Conformist gets a 5 out of 5. And if you don't like it, Booker T has a warning for you. We coming for you, nigga! Disclaimer. Three Fat Guys Talking About Metal does not own any of the music featured, nor the media clips. Adam Sessler has absolutely nothing to do with Three Fat Guys Talking About Metal. All these clips were used for parody and entertainment. Sopa can kiss my ass. Love Jess, Three Fat Guys Talking About Metal.